Hi everybody. Today we are going to go through how to use Excel for your acid-base titration calculations. Uh, it does a great job of setting up tables and doing calculations at the same time. So over here, I put some labels and some things. So this label right here is the KHB concentration and the number below it is the concentration for my KHB solution. Uh, you guys calculated that because you know the mass that you used and the volume <coughs> you dissolved in it, so that's good. And the rest of these are just bolded other things I've written here. When something's in brackets, that means concentration of. So concentration of KHB. And I did three trials for these, and I have some numbers that I'm just gonna plug in. Um, I wanna use this number here in all of these cells. So I'm gonna say that this cell here is equal to this one. But I'm also gonna drag it over to the right. So I'm gonna put a dollar sign in front of the A, and a dollar sign in front of the two. And that means <coughs> that when I drag this over, it copies A2 every time. Now, the amount of KH <coughs> KHP I used in each instance was 0 0.01 liters. And I can just drag that over, copies, cool. The amount of sodium hydroxide I used was different in each case. So 0 0.02567 was my first one. 0.02498 was my next one, and 0 0.025 um, four five was my last one. Concentration of sodium hydroxide. You can do this on paper. You can also do it anywhere else, but we know that that's going to end up being our uh, concentration of KHP multiplied by the amount of KHP we used divided by the amount of sodium hydroxide that we used. So when I hit enter, it calculates for me the amount of the concentration of sodium hydroxide. And if I drag this over, it does it for each of my columns. So that is those are the concentrations right there. The easiest way to take the average is in this cell down here, write equals, and then the word average, all caps doesn't really matter. And then this, these are the things I want to take the average of. And then I hit close parentheses. That's the average. That is my average concentration. Cool, because I need that average concentration for my vinegar trials. <coughs> so I'm going to say that this is equal to this cell, and it really is. Um, let me show you what happens when I leave out the dollar signs, those become zeros because this cell is copying D3 and this cell is copying, sorry, E7, this one's copying F7. So I want this to be with dollar signs in there so it copies that exact cell every time. Okay, and the amount of sodium hydroxide I used changed in each one, so it's 0 0.03786, 0 0.0. 3697 and 0.03706. That's what I used each time. The amount of vinegar I used each time was the same. It was 10 mils, 0.01. I can drag that over. So the amount of vinegar, or the concentration of vinegar again, is equal to the concentration of sodium hydroxide by how much I multiplied by how much I used and divided by um, the amount of vinegar that I had, and that is my average concentration. Cool, great. Now the last little thing here I'm gonna do is my average vinegar, again, that is equal to average of those things, and the parentheses, 0.36. That is my average vinegar, con vinegar concentration. Now the last thing I wanna do is remember that I made this vinegar solution by taking 10 mils. <coughs> of a concentrated vinegar solution and diluting it to a final volume of 250. So that means that this cell here, I'm gonna call it um, concentrated vinegar. And I'll widen this so it fits. My concentrated vinegar, that is gonna be equal to this number here multiplied by the volume of the solution that I made, 250, divided by the amount of concentrated vinegar that I used to make it. So 10 mils, and that is my concentrated vinegar concentration. Um, that's it, it's really straightforward. Uh, this is a good skill for you to develop. I strongly recommend using <coughs> Excel and um, using it to get over the, uh, the little things you have to do to make tables and do calculations at the same time. Hope this helps, and I'll see you in class.